Hey YouTube, Jailbreak is here. Today I'm going to show you how to put a custom boot logo on your jailbroken iPod Touch with software version 2.2.1. First of all, you're going to want to download Quick Freedom version 1.2.0 and the 2.2.1 firmware. I'll also put a link in the description for that. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to want to open up Quick Freedom and you'll be displayed with options. And click on the Change Logo button. Okay, now a bunch of these logos will come up. So you can either pick one of these or use custom logo. I'm going to use custom for this video. Okay, and now a bunch of these files will come up. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to locate where your, your logo is. I got these off iSpazio. And I'm going to put a link in the description for it. Oh, and I did need to fill in the transparent background because the file was too big without with the black, ground, black background it came with. Okay, once you've selected your boot logo, if you want a recovery logo, you're going to want to click on recovery logo tab, and you want to click on use custom, and again, a bunch of files will come up. So locate where your recovery logo is, and double click on it. If you d And yes, it is, if you're thinking whatever you were thinking. If you don't want one, just click on the iTunes one or whatever. Yeah, okay. When you're done selecting whatever you want, you're going to want to click the OK button. And it might come up with a warning state does not contain transparency, but don't worry, just try it. It may or may not work. Okay, now it's going to start creating this firmware for your iPod Touch, and that's what you're going to need to restore it with. So I'm going to come back to you guys when it's done downloading. So bye for now. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, my firmware is done downloading, and once yours is done downloading, it should come up with this big screen like this. And it should say enter recovery mode, and it should have buttons as manual instructions. Okay. Now you're going to want to have your iPod plugged in. Oh, and guys, don't worry about losing all your data, because this will not make you lose all your data. Even though it says it's restoring it, it really isn't. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is make sure your device is plugged in, and you're going to want to enter, enter recovery mode. Okay, now it's going to detect it, and it's going to go into recovery mode. Okay, now you're going to want to open up iTunes. Wait, for that, here it goes. Okay, and now it should detect your iPod, and it'll say, you must restore it before it can be detected. Okay, and you're going to need iTunes 8.2. Now you're going to put your cursor over the restore button, but don't click. And you're going to hold the shift key, and you're going to click restore. And a bunch of files will come up. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to locate your custom NOR firmware that it created when in um, Quick Freedom. So you're going to want to double click on that, and it's going to like extract the software, and it's going to say it's restoring it. But it really isn't, it's just changing the boot logo, so do not worry. Waiting for it to restore. When it is on restoring, you'll have your custom boot logo and or without a custom recovery logo. So, I'm going to come back to you guys when it's done. So, bye for now. Hey guys, I'm back. Now your iPod thing should say this when it, when like the thing on your loader screen is done. And now, after that message has gone away, your thing should be jailbroken, so enjoy your new logo on your iPod Touch. So thank you for watching, comment, rate, subscribe.